India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Wednesday hit out at Opposition Congress Party by saying that the decade before 2014 will be remembered as the lost decade, as he replied to the motion of thanks on the President's address in the Parliament. Both houses witnessed chaos amid the speech as opposition lawmakers targeted the government over the Adani row, inflation and unemployment, among other issues. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Wednesday said the decade before 2014 when the Congress party ruled the country will always be remembered as the lost decade, while the decade of 2030 will be known as India's decade as he lashed out at the opposition during his reply to the motion of thanks on the President's address in the Parliament. The Parliament witnessed chaos amid the speech as opposition lawmakers targeted the government over the Adani row, inflation and unemployment. PM Modi said at a time when top economies are reeling with post-COVID losses, the world is looking at India with hope and confidence as it heads the G20. On India's contribution to climate change and energy-saving goals, he said, in renewable energy usage, India stands in fourth position. The PM hitting out at Congress said, I have been waiting for the last nine years to get some constructive criticism that could get the country going. But this opposition only practices when data politics and blame game. Adaniya Dek Jis Baat Ko Hindustan Har Pal Yad Rakhe Ga Ki 2014 Ke Pahle Ka Jo Dasak Tha The Lost Decade Ke Rup Me Jana Jaya Ga Aur Is Baat Ko Inkar Nahi Kar Sakte Ki 2030 Ka Jo Dasak Hai Ye India's Decade Hai the opposition parties have been holding daily protests demanding a joint parliamentary probe into the Adani Group after a report by US-based short-seller Hindenburg Research accused it of stock manipulation and misuse of tax havens. Congress party leader Rahul Gandhi said he is not satisfied with the PM's speech as he did not talk about any inquiry. The Adani Group has denied wrongdoing but that has failed to arrest the unabated fall in its shares. The group's chairman, billionaire Gautam Adani, and India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi are from the same state. Adani has denied allegations by Modi's opponents that he had benefited from their close ties, and Modi's government has denied allegations of favouring Adani.